All right, pulling a vacuum on this one. And as you can see, it looks like it's all jagged, like it's sound waves, you know, on a speaker or something like that. But what this is, is this is actually the moisture and trapped refrigerant that's still in the oil popping out of the system. The system was open to the air for a while. Now, if you've seen many of my other videos when I'm drawing vacuum, when the system is basically refrigerant free and moisture free, this will almost be a straight line, a gradual line going down. And occasionally you'll see a small little pop out of it, a little bit of moisture. But in this one here, you see it's just a constant all the time. And this is a clear indicator that this thing is super moisture contaminated. It wasn't an accident. They couldn't get the condenser right away. The lines were left open. They weren't sealed. I'm not going to show what shop this is, but um, this is what happens when the lines are left open and it's highly moisture contaminated. And I can now get it down. Now let's see what happens when I turn off the, the vacuum pump. I'm, I'm turning off the vacuum pump. I just killed the vacuum pump. This will go probably rapidly go above 1,000 um uh, <laughs> a thousand microns or more after about 10 hours. Well, we're at 800 it's better than a thousand now this is after i'm ready to charge this it's already been on the vacuum pump for an hour and this is all i could get out of it so it looks like we're leveling out close to uh 800 microns what is better than the thousand that i thought it would be at but this is what happens when you're highly moisture contaminated now if I purge nitrogen through here two or three or four times and keep it on the vacuum pump for several more hours or overnight, you won't see this jagged vacuum like this. What you'll see is you'll see a smooth line like this. But instead of being up here at 800, and, let's just say 805 microns, 810 microns, whatever it is, it will be way down here at around 300 microns, 100 microns if I left it overnight and it'll be a smooth line like that, not like that. This is pulling vacuum with lots of moisture in there and uh, or refrigerant trapped inside the oil. And this is what it should look like over here, nice and smooth, but it doesn't. So that's all. Uh, learning how to read the micron gauge and what it means and the difference you only get by experience. Oh, and reading. There's this thing called books. Uh, and there's actually Jim Bergman gives out some good videos on this too. And at True Tech Tools has a good manual. It's only about $19, all about vacuum and using the latest, latest equipment. Go to True Tech Tools website and purchase that book. And if you're interested in learning about microns and how to use it without making mistakes and get frustrated, you need some guidance. You don't just buy the tool and use it. Tool doesn't do nothing if you don't know how to use it correctly. All right, catch you later.